friends, it's Elizabeth Morse. I am coming to you from my garden here in Indiana. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick um, zoom around. And I um, wanted to talk to you today about asparagus. Um, last time I made a video for you, I was gonna try and cook and um, it actually ended up being um, super cold here and snowing and so some of my asparagus was ruined but I thought um, I would talk to you a little bit about it today and show you what it looks like you can see um, you can see my helper there in the backyard so that's um, that's King Louie um, but this is my asparagus patch and um, the cool thing about asparagus is um, that it's delicious it's really easy to grow but it's kind of interesting because once you plant it um you can either do that from seed or you can buy these little tiny bare root starts and and plant them but it takes about three years um to get going and i thought i'd show you um you can see some of these larger pieces and when you grow asparagus you actually just snap it and wherever it breaks off is is where it's good to go we've got quite a few pieces here today um but you can see these little skinny like fern like pieces and this is what asparagus looks like. Um, I've actually planted a few new ones this year and wanted them to, um, to get started so that as some of these older plants die out, I'll have some new ones. Um, it's starting to rain here, so um, I will show you. This, um, this green variety is called Mary Washington, and that's what most of my asparagus is. But then I don't know if you can see the purple stems back there. I just have a few of those and um, those are called purple passion. I just think they look cool. They actually taste exactly the same. Um, I'll snap a couple of the rest of these off and then I actually have um, kind of a lot inside already. And I thought I would show you how to prepare asparagus because it is the season and you're probably seeing it everywhere in the grocery stores right now. Stay tuned. Okay, so I moved inside with the asparagus that I just harvested. This is what we just picked outside. And um, as you can see, I've got this container here. Um, this is just, um, actually I'm pulling probably about this much, maybe even a little more every single day um, through like, uh, gosh, part of April, um, I'd say through mid-June. And uh, that's a lot of asparagus actually. Uh, I give some to my neighbors and friends and my family eats a ton of it, it's really good. Sometimes the kids are out in the garden and they just like grab one and snap it off and start eating. Um, but you can see I've got kind of a lot. And what I do because um, sometimes I, you know, this is a good amount, but not necessarily for a family of five, which is what I have. And um, so what I do is I fill up a container of, of water and um, I just stick the cut end um, in there and um, refrigerate. And that way when I get a whole big bunch, um, you know, the amount that I want, um, it's all still fresh, um, but you do have to harvest it because if it, if you ignore it in the garden, then it gets really, really tall and leggy and then that gets weird because of course everybody likes, um, the really tasty top parts and then you don't want, you know, the stem to be super, super big. So I thought I would show you that. Um, I thought I'd also point out, um, since I showed you the plants already that when the, um, asparagus, um, Oh, we call it going to seed. Basically, when it's kind of done for the season, um, the plants, the larger ones that you saw, actually end up getting those ferny tops like the little baby plants do. And, um, and, and you just let them grow and they just kind of are ferny and pretty in the garden um, for the rest of the season. And then um, they kind of go away in the winter time and they freeze and then, um, and then they start up again the next year. And those little tiny wispy baby ones will actually become bigger and bigger. Um, and then as you can see, like this is a, a pretty mature piece here. This is kind of humongous. And then some of them um, are much, much smaller. Uh, let's see, like, like this one, for instance, much smaller. Anyway, um, so my family likes to enjoy asparagus a lot of ways. Raw, as I said, is great. Um, but our very favorite way is to, to roast the asparagus. And so I thought I'd show you how I do that. Uh, let's see. So what I've got is I've got plenty of asparagus. Um, I have just um, a baking sheet here. There we go. So I've got my asparagus. Um, if you have stored your asparagus in water for quite a few days, um, you might take a look at the ends and just make sure they are the way that you like them, that they are still fresh looking. You can trim those off, you know, just to make a nice straight edge with a knife if you want to. We're pretty casual around here, so doesn't matter quite as much, but what I like to do is I take my asparagus, um, I break it up into pieces that fit on a baking sheet, and then once I have 
the amount that I want, I am gonna take some olive oil. You can also use butter. I like this one. This is actually a fancy white truffle oil, um, just because I don't happen to have any plain right now. And then salt and pepper. And um, we're gonna drizzle the asparagus. And you all might be wondering why I'm not really on camera today so much. So I um, was messing around with my son's beehives a few days ago and um, normally don't have any problems, but I actually got a couple stings in the face and that is not even super abnormal and um, ended up in the emergency room. What I found out is that I am now allergic to bees and so I have to be super, super careful. And my face looks kind of crazy, so I've got sunglasses on and you'll just have to, to trust me on that, that that's the best choice. Oops, there's one more little piece. Okay, so I drizzled with the, I drizzled with the olive oil and I'm gonna salt and pepper and I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got everything ready. Uh, Toss the asparagus with the oil, um, salt and pepper, a couple other things that are fun to try, um, a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese if you have that, or some lemon. Um, those are both really great additions too. And I am going to head over and pop this in my, um, my little, actually countertop oven. You could use your regular oven, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's 425 and you're gonna let these roast for 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put mine on bake, 425, and I'm gonna set my timer. And that's all there is to it. When it's finished, I will show you what it looks like. Um, super, super easy if you're considering uh, starting a garden or maybe you already have one and um, you have patience. I would definitely recommend considering asparagus. It's a great vegetable to add to your um, to your family's diet and super easy to cook. So um, I will come back when this is done and show you what it looks like and um, and give it a try. Okay, we're at the very end. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. And you can see they've gotten a little color. Um, super easy, super delicious. They smell amazing. I would serve these uh, with anything pretty much um, as a side dish. Um, if you're a vegetarian, you could even toss them with pasta, make them into a main dish, and um, maybe throw in some more Parmesan cheese, a little butter and garlic, and it would be a really simple and really delicious meal, or even some tomatoes, yum. Anyway, I hope this has been um, informative and an easy method for you to, um, to maybe branch out and try some asparagus and consider putting it in your garden next year. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.